Hi, I'm John Beckett, Druid, Priest, and Writer. Community is one of the four centers of paganism, along with nature, the gods, and our higher selves. It's where we find the divine, however each of us conceives of the divine. And as I record this in the middle of March, normally we would be getting ready to come together as a community to celebrate the spring equinox. But we aren't. We're all isolated, quarantined, keeping safe social distance away so as not to spread the coronavirus. Now, on one hand, that's a small sacrifice to make for, for the greater good. On the other hand, we miss our community. And we can stay in touch through social media, video chats, and good old-fashioned telephone calls. That's still not the same as being in the same room with someone, hearing their voice unmediated by electronics, being able to shake their hand, hug them. I will miss our spring equinox ritual. At the same time, our community consists of more than just its human members. It also consists of the spirits of the land where we are. It consists of our ancestors, of blood and ancestors of spirit. And it consists of our gods and goddesses, the divine beings whose stories we tell and whose virtues we do our best to embody. We can stay in touch with them. We can build our community with them even if we can't leave our houses. What follows here is a very brief ritual that I put together to try to do just that. And I hope that you find it inspiring, and I hope it moves you to, to do something similar on your own. Spirits of the East, spirits of air, we invite you into our circle and we welcome you. Spirits of the South, spirits of fire, we invite you into our circle and we welcome you. Spirits of the West, spirits of water, we invite you into our circle and we welcome you. Spirits of the North, spirits of Earth, we invite you into our circle and we welcome you. This fire is for us the center of the universe, and through it we may journey to all times and all realms. We make this offering that our journeys may be safe and fruitful. Spirits of the land, spirits of this place, you who were here long before us, we invite you into our circle and we welcome you. Accept this offering, we ask, given in hospitality and in love. Ancestors of blood and ancestors of spirit, you whose children we are and on whose foundations we build. We invite you into our circle and we welcome you. Accept this offering we ask, given in hospitality and in love. Kerninus, Lord of the Animals, Lord of the Hunt, Danu, Mother Goddess, Lady of the Waters. Morrigan, Battle Goddess, Lady of Sovereignty. Brigid, Lady of the Fire, Lady of the Well, Lady of the Tree. Lu, Master of All Arts. 
we invite you into our circle and we welcome you. At this time of great challenge and trouble, we remember our ancestors who lived through plagues and epidemics. We especially remember those who lived through the flu epidemic of 1918 and those who lived through the Black Death of the 1300s. Mighty ancestors, because of you we have life. You lived, therefore we are. We make this offering in thanks for your perseverance, that you did what you had to do to live and survive and thrive so that someday we could be. Mighty ancestors, we thank you. We also pay honor to those ancestors who lived in these times of plague and disease, but who did not make it through. The loss of life was great in 1918. It was even greater in the Middle Ages. Those who succumbed to the plagues were mourned by their families and friends, and we remember them now. Beloved ancestors, we make this offering in honor of your lives, and we remember you. May the ancestors and honored now to share this wine with you. And now, having invited our gods, our ancestors, our spiritual allies to join us, we spend a moment in quiet meditation, listening for their wisdom and inspiration. Brigid, Morrigan, Danu, Kurnus, ancestors of spirit, ancestors of blood, spirits of this place, spirits of the elements and directions, we thank you for your presence and blessings on our right and in our lives. May there be peace and honor between us now and forever. Hail and farewell. Just a couple of notes about that ritual. Uh, you may have noticed that I poured the offerings to the land spirits on the ground, the offerings to the gods into the fire. I poured the offerings to the ancestors into a chalice. My ancestors were not wealthy people, and for them, pouring good wine on the ground is a terrible waste. And so when I'm offering to my ancestors, I offer it to them first, and then I drink some of it myself and let them taste it through me, for they live on through me. You may feel called to do the same thing. Uh, you may be called to do something different. This is what I've been called to do. The other thing I would point out is that the meditation was, was quite brief. Normally, I would uh, meditate in, and sit and listen for five minutes, 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes, just depending on, on how noisy various persons were. But that makes for very boring video, so I truncated it uh, extremely. And I trust that when you do this, you will give the meditation the time it needs.
Well, if you just stumbled onto this video and don't have any idea who I am, I've been blogging for almost 12 years now. Uh, my blog is titled Under the Ancient Oaks. It's part of the Pathios Pagan channel. If you'll Google John Beckett Pathios, it will take you right there. I blog three times most weeks about paganism, polytheism, and whatever's going on in the world. My teaching site is also called Under the Ancient Oaks, uh, undertheancientoaks.com. Uh, I have two online classes that, uh, uh, that, that I've run, and uh, it's where I'll be doing some other things as we move forward. You can also find me on Facebook, on Twitter, and on Instagram. I have two books out. My first book, The Path of Paganism, an experience-based guide to modern pagan practice, and Paganism in Depth, the Polytheist Approach. Uh, both of these books are available from all of the usual sources. If you would like to meet me in person, um, right now that looks rather challenging, but um, I'm still scheduled to be a uh, um, one of the future guests at the Florida Pagan Gathering in, in April, and I'm hoping that goes on. It's too early to say for sure. Um, I'm also planning to be at Mystic South in Atlanta in July. I think that was much more likely, but again, you just never know. Uh, we're playing this thing week by week and day by day. These are challenging times. Um, I've never seen anything like this. But I know that my ancestors went through things that were every bit this bad and worse, and enough of them made it through that I am, that you are, that we are. Where they survived and succeeded, so can we. May you have a blessed spring equinox, however you celebrate it, and may the blessings of the gods and ancestors be with you now and in the times to come.